All right, everybody come together. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Um, I'd like to formally welcome you to the Chief Johnson's residence. And um, <laughs> we're all happy to be here, isn't that? Yeah. Um, we're here to celebrate Tunde Johnson's graduation. Yeah. All right, um, to kick the event started, I'd like to call to the microphone the first son of Chief Johnson, a very intelligent and handsome young man. Please jam your hands together as I call to the stage. Mr. Tunde Johnson! All right, um, I want to say I'm really happy tonight. Um, I want to appreciate every one of you for coming to spend time to celebrate with me. Um, my first appreciation goes to my parents, Chief and Chief Mrs. Johnson. I think they deserve a round of applause. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mommy, for spending so much on my education. And uh, my second appreciation, of course, goes to my heart throb, the lady of my dreams, my sweetheart, AKG. Can you just come up here? And um, I want to say, um, on behalf of two of us, uh, we want to say thank you for coming. And when it's your turn to celebrate, We'll be there. We'll be there, we'll we'll be there. there with you. Thank you very much. Thank, you. thank you very much. Another round of applause for today. Um, at this time, I'd like to call an elder statesman, a captain of industry, um, an economic and commercial mogul, and um, a senior citizen of our nation. Please put your hands together for Chief Alfred Johnson. <laughs> I want you just to take a look at the person standing beside you. Tell him or her congratulations. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to sincerely appreciate you for honoring my invitation to my son's graduation party. On behalf of myself, my beautiful wife that is standing over there, my lovely daughter Sarah and the celebrant of today, Tunde Johnson. I want to say very big thank you to everybody here present. In fact, I'm elated. So please, uh, I want you to roll out the drums. A lot of things to drink, a lot to eat. Just be free, be free to yourself. Once again, you're welcome. I think the chief deserves a loud round. Um, if I don't know Chief Johnson very well, I know that when it comes to socials, he's something else. Please yeah. appreciate it. Uh, there'll be a few hard glasses now. Um, three hat chairs to Mr. Tunde Johnson. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. hip. Hooray. Now the very last one. Hip, hip, hip. I'm so proud of you. You have actually brought dignity and prestige to this family. Imagine you graduating with honors from the best university. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least my son will be able to manage my huge investments. Yeah, Dad, I'm, Dad I must confess, you're one in a million and I love you. I appreciate you. Oh, no, that's you, good. Thank you for all you're doing for me. That's good. Just follow me, okay, very slowly, uh, not so fast, okay. not so fast. Okay. I hope your eyes are closed. Yeah, they are tight and closed. Yeah, yeah that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. So here we are, don't open your eyes yet. Okay. Mm. 
Yo can now open the eyes. This is your birthday and graduation gift. What? <laughs> For me, man? <laughs> I'm so great to tell us. Mom! Mom! Nana! Mom, you guys! That's what give me the cut. <laughs> Ventures as the chief executive. Dad! from Jack Parson Odin's. The client service manager brought it. Oh, I see. All right. Um, call your manager and fix a meeting for 9 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, 9 in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hi, honey. I miss you. I'm fine. I'm coming home tonight. Uh, that's great. I'll be spending some few days. Okay, okay. See you later. Yeah, love you too. Bye. Hi, Inkechi. You look beautiful. Thank you. Um, Inkechi? Yes. I had wanted to see you. Really? It's nothing serious. You're such a beautiful young lady loaded with potentials. Very sociable and amiable. But in spite of all these qualities, you need one more quality to crown it all. And what is that quality? You see, you need to give your life over to Jesus. I see. Get you there. One more thing. What is that? 
I'm happy that you want to marry my brother Tunde. But sleeping together before your wedding is a sin. Beg your pardon. It's a sin, my dear. Sex is only meant for marriage. But I think it's one of those things. Sex is only meant for marriage. EKG! Excuse me. to stop coming here. Who gave you the audacity? But I didn't have Shut up, please. Do you know how critical the marriage of Ikechi and today is? Don't you know her father is the grandmaster of the G Connection? Wait till your father hears about this. Just mind your business and keep that SU thing to yourself. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Please. is working according to your desires. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet, my son. <laughs> but you see, Tunde, there's got to be a continuity in this world. And uh, let's not forget, did you check your bank account lately? Yes, I did. I, I saw some huge deposits. I thought you kept them there for something else. <laughs> It's just your monthly bonus, my son. You're going to be having them in euros, hard currency, pounds sterling, dollars, and all these are going to be paid into your domiciliary account. Look, I have just started with you, my son. But that, the amount is too heavy. Heavy, you say? Yes. Oh my God, you are just a kid. <laughs> Like I said, you are just a kid. Now listen to me, my son. I want you to know that life becomes easy when you know how to play your cards. I remember our elders say, when a child washes his hand clean, he dines with the elders. Hmm. day. I am going to take you to the next level.
talking about? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hey, you meet with my son today. Oh, the prospective member of G Connection. G Connection. You are welcome. Yeah. Today, you are welcome to the connection of the life wire of the nation. That's right. We are the movers and shakers of the nation. That's right. Here you meet Senator Prince, the majority leader of the Senate and the chairman of the Operation Committee. <laughs> Come with me. Here is Chief Benson. You know him? Yes, I do, sir. <laughs> Here is uh, Professor Dan. <laughs> And here you meet Dr. Stephen. Here is our justice here. Justice Kengo. And General Dan. You are welcome. As you can see, those young men over there. They are the future of the G Connection. Their future is secured because they are connected to the life wire of our nation. They are the future managing directors, big businessmen, ambassadors. You see, we are the unstoppable. We can meet with them. Fine. I'm sure you really enjoyed yourself this evening. Yes, Dad. I see. <laughs> and I want to say thank you. It was like a dream meeting and knowing those great men belong to the G Connection. <laughs> Today, yes, Dad. you have not seen anything yet. You see, you have just started. That is the next level I was talking about. Uh. <laughs> Yes. Yes, that can I just... Uh, I hope you've not forgotten that the mm -hmm. initiation comes up just some few weeks to this time. Ah, uh, no, Dad. Uh, and I'm ready for it. Uh, I can see you're looking forward to it. <laughs> Good night. All right, sir. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Good night, Dad. See you later, eh? Yes, Dad. Sundi. Sundi. Big sis, I thought you should have slept by now. Where did you go tonight? I was in a great meeting. The G Connection, isn't it? How did you know that? That society is a deep secret cult in disguise. If you join them, Get your eternity for mere materialism and fake human connection. So they come to Jesus now. Look, you're getting it all wrong. It's not a cult. There was no fetish thing, there was no strange dressing. I mean, it was just a social clique. Cultism is all about deception. It's up to way to eternal bondage. It begins with just social gathering and will later graduate to the real occultism. Sunday, don't be deceived. Don't join them. Sarah, spare me. Do you think it's everyone that can be like you? They just spare me, eh? Let me live and enjoy my life the way I want to. Sunday, Sunday!
Auntie Doris, I still strongly believe that God has the power to restore your life again. Dan, please, please. I don't want to talk about that issue again. I really feel I've disappointed God. We all make mistakes. But God has the power to heal our wounds. Dan, please spare me. Can we pick another topic? Yes, come in. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Sarah. Good day, Auntie Doris. Thank you. How has your day been? Fine. Daniel. Yeah. Guess what? What? Can you believe that Daddy is trying to lure Tunde to join the J connection? What? Tunde? He had attended the meeting with Dad. Though he has not been initiated, but a date has been fixed for the initiation. No! It can't be. We have to stop it with serious prayers and intercession. Well, I've told Sister Faith, we shall come together and pray over it. Great. I will also see Pastor Alex today. And we are going to pray against it. Ah! Dee, I love that boy. He will be a great instrument in God's hand. Amen. I have to go now. Sarah. Yes, Daniel. Hmm. The way your parents are behaving. Do you think they would not frustrate our relationship? I mean, your dad is just enduring me. Daniel. Don't be moved by what you see. We are going to get married. Are you sure? I'm sure. But do you have any doubts in your mind? Well, let's believe God. Deceiving yourself. Sarah's parents will not allow you to marry her. <laughs> Auntie Doris. salvation of my family is giving me a lot of concern. The Lord has promised to save us and our household. Yes. But look at my dad, my mom, and Sunde. They just believe that having all the material things of this world is everything. Whereas the Bible says that, what shall it profit a man if he gains the old world and loses his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Oh. My sister is the same everywhere. Imagine Shade, my younger sister. She's a member of the campus cult, the Red Jezebel. A girl for that matter. She's so aggressive, bold and resolute. But we have to stand and pray and intercede for our families. 
that the devil can't take them just like that. We need to pray. Please stand and pray. Move to their next level. Senator Briggs, step forward. You want to proceed to the next level? Yes, my lord. You want to become the first citizen of your state? Yes, my lord. That's good. As you are aware, there is a price to pay for every level. Are you ready to press the price? Oh, yes, my lord. Let's consult the great master. Yes, my lord. In 
In fact, he is actually looking forward to it. Young fool. He doesn't know that the entrance of the connection is sweet, but the exit is bitter. You must make sure that it's here on the initiation day. Yes, my lord. If not, you know the consequence. Galaji! Chief Douglas. Hi, <laughs> fiance. How are you doing? You're right here. Yeah. You, you, you lucky. You lucky. Right. And I was. This evening. We study aeronautical engineering. Yeah. That's why I studied back. Yes. I am a trained pilot. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah. I am so I might be seeing something. Ah, oh, Sarah, you're welcome. Uh, I'm so you're welcome. welcome. Oh, oh my God. This is. Welcome. Sarah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. you came in just on time. Yeah. You see, actually, we are celebrating the arrival of uh, Ambrose. Yeah. And that's the son of uh, Chief Benson standing beside me here. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah, What's going on? This is Sarah, right? Yeah, that's Sarah. 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 Yeah. Nice meeting Sarah. 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 Yeah, how are you doing, though? Right, right, right. So, Yo. <laughs> you need to take me out in Nigeria. No, anytime you have time, you just call me. I'm going to take you out of town. Right. You, no, you owe me one. Yeah. You better promise me. Uh -huh. yeah. Nigeria. Well, you know, if you were in the States, I was going to take you out. So, uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we are all going to toast to the health of our son, Ambrose. Thank you. Uh, Cheers. 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 Mommy. Yes. 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 So let yes. more drinks roll. A lot of things to drink, a lot to eat. Thank you. You'll be free. And let the drinks continue to roll. Caroline, I believe we still have more drinks yes. around. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. And you're looking quiet yes. yourself. I'm trying to adjust. <laughs>
me, Ambrose. Oh, Ambrose, how are you? I hope you're gradually settling down in Nigeria. You know how it is. We're just trying to adapt to the, you know, weather and everything. Uh, look, Sarah, I... I need your help. Really? Yeah. Uh, um, Sarah, could you... Please come to Chicken Plaza by 7 p.m. tonight. 7 p.m.? Yes, sir. 7 p.m. Chicken Plaza tonight? Uh, I don't... Would you be able to go? All right, I'll give you a call. That's a yes, right? <laughs> all right, then. I'll talk to you later. See you 7 p.m., all right? Hi, sir. Hi. Please sit down. Why? Ah. Well, I'm sorry. I came very late. I was caught up in the holdup. Right, right. Um, I thought maybe... No, not at all. Hey, okay, all right. Do you want anything to eat? Something heavy like a drink? Do you want a drink? Mm, no, a, a drink will do. A drink will do, right. Um, your waiter! Um, two glasses of orange juice. Yeah. On the rocks. No, no. Nah, 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 my bad. I'm just joking. Um, yeah, ice for me and uh, ice for the lady. Okay. All right, thank you. All right. You said you needed my help. What exactly do you want? Right, sir. Um, you remember the other day I came over to your house and um, it was wonderful meeting, sir. I find it so absurd when people find it hard them to find sleep when they just meet a lady they admire so much. But the same thing goes for me. I can't, I'm looking for sleep. Why? <laughs> Look, Sarah, there's that perfect picture, right? That you fit exactly into. Look, there's so many girls in the United States but they are so artificial. You're so natural. You're so composed. You're so admirable. You're so beautiful. You're so elegant. It's okay. So admirable. No, 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 no. No, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm flattering you. No, no, no. It's all right. Okay. Thanks for all your compliments. But I, I'm not the lady of your dream, and I can't. I'm engaged. I'm a child of God. Besides, I'm born again. That's it. You're a child of God. Look, you're a born again lady, yeah? Look, I, I, I need a, a lady who is God fearing. That's what I need. I need. I need a lady who fears God. You know, who ain't gonna give me no problem at all. Alright? Look, look, look. I. I need you to make my uh, day. I I love you, Sarah. I can't. All right, all right. You know what? Look, I'll give you so much time. I'll give you some time to think about it, all right? And I'll give myself time to hear a positive answer. I can't, because I can't. Okay, okay. You think about it and pray to him, pray to God. To answer your prayers. He has answered mine. Alright? But sir, darling, don't dash my hopes. I can't, because I can't. Day. Yeah, my pleasure, darling. Uh, yeah, Sarah, have you um 
thought about what I asked you the other day. I'm Bruce. You're such a nice guy. Cultured, exposed and decent. But you see, I can't marry you. As I've told you earlier, I'm engaged. I found my love in Christ. Sarah, um, you know, we could talk this over again. I mean, you know, our families are close. And besides, I, I love you a lot. Huh, Bruce, when you give your life to Christ, you will give you your heart desire. The woman made for you. But first, know him. And he will... Sarah! Stop preaching to me for heaven's sake. I mean, well, uh, you can have it your way though. But just know one thing though. My heart will always, always ache for you forever. Ambrose, listen. So the let's go now. Sarah, what's she doing this to you? Oh. What's up? Hey, Dad. Look, man. Dad, it's... I don't know. Have you, um, ever wanted something so bad and you can't just have it? I, 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 you know how it hurts. It hurts so much. Wait a minute. You? Chief Benson's son looking for something in this nation? Son of a member of G Connection? <laughs> Incredible. Come on, son, talk to me. What do you want? Dad, Dad, look. It's Sarah. It's Sarah. Sarah? Which Sarah? Sarah Johnson, um, Chief Johnson's daughter. <laughs> what about her? Uh, Dad, I, I, I love that girl. I mean, I. The first day I set my eyes on her, I, I, can't, I can't take my mind off her again. <laughs> That's no problem, son. Have you spoken to her? Yes, I have, Dad. I spoke to her. I asked her to marry me, but she told me uh, she's engaged. So she, she said what? She said she's engaged. She can't get married to me. Rubbish. Engaged? Then she has to disengage. <laughs> no G Connection member rejects any request from any member. Oh, relax, son. Sarah is yours. She mine? For real? That's all? Son? <laughs> Let's go in. The matter is as good as settled. Hey, Dad, for real, I got this for you from the States, though. You can wear them. So you just wear them when the sun is all blazing hot. You know how it goes. Yo, for real. Tell my dad, you know that. Sarah, we need to be more prayerful about this relationship. I could perceive some serious opposition militating against our proposed marital union. Hmm. We need to stand and defend this relationship with continuous violent prayers. Daniel, the Bible says, thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. He says we are more than conquerors. Daniel, if God be for us, who can be against us? Sarah, your parents. What about them? Ah, a lot. They don't seem to understand. <laughs> Welcome, Dad. Welcome, sir. Young man. Sir, you again? <laughs> By the way, who is your father? 
He's a pensioner with the railway corporation, sir. Can you hear that? <laughs> the son of a railway pensioner. <laughs> ah, I see. And so, young man, what business do you have with the daughter of Chief Johnson? Dad! Will you shut up your mouth? I'm not talking to you. Hmm. Now look here, look, young man. Let this be the last time you will ever step into this house with your dirty legs. My daughter can never marry you. No way. Why don't you just go out there and look for somebody that is in your class? Huh? Dogs don't make friends with lions. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that? Yes. Huh? Daniela, whatever your name is. Sarah, I thought I've spoken to you to get rid of this fluffy girl. Don't they teach you your church to obey your parents? Huh? Mom, huh? Uh, sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. You, you better go. And don't ever come here looking for my daughter. Please, Daniel. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come back here, Sarah. Are you deaf? Come back here. And you, young man. Don't you ever try me. Don't. <laughs> Sarah, huh? what is the matter with you? Why don't you want to marry Ambrose? Huh? You should know that he loves you and he wants to take care of you. I can't marry Ambrose. I can't. Sarah. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And how is Sister Sarah? She's fine, though. She's very fine. And, and how are you preparing for your wedding? Uh, God has been faithful. God is helping us. Yeah. Brother Daniel, yeah. do you know you are fishing in trouble waters? Uh, how do you mean? Uh, no, 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 no. You see, what I'm just trying to tell you is that you should keep it from Sister Sarah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, who are you to tell me that? <laughs> Keep away from Sarah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Go and look for your own wife. The next time we get you, it will be worse. Okay? Yes, sir. Ah. Ah. Pastor, the battle is tense. They have now descended so low using canal and violent means. Look at how they manhandled him. Brother Daniel, I understand. I know how you feel. But you are facing such battles so as to defend your future home. If you back out now, what happens if such oppositions rise up against you after wedding? Would you back out? <laughs> Pastor, if they had succeeded in killing me, Sarah would have married someone else. Brother Daniel. If Sambalat and Tobiah were unable to stop the Himaya from building the wall, who can stop you? <laughs> I need grace, Pastor. I seriously need God's grace. 
Yes, come in. Good day, Pastor. How are you? Oh my God! Daniel! Who did this to you? How would I know? Is it not your dad's people? Daniel, don't talk like this! Pastor. Listen, both of you. Do you believe we can win this battle? Yes, Pastor. Then let our hearts be united. No retreat, no surrender. Daniel, Sarah, do you think we can win this battle? Yes, Pastor. Then let us rise up and pray against every forces militating against this relationship. Come on, Sarah, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's go. This relationship will be good. Day. Uh -uh. Hurry up now, we're getting late. I just went up to see my mom. Hey, mom is late. Just get into this ride and let's cruise it together, you lover boy. Hey, you guys, take it easy. Big happy. No problem, make you just chill. No shaking. <laughs> Don't forget what I told you. Okay, okay. And you all, Jesus loves you. Mm -hmm. Son. Yes, Dad. Have a nice day. I will, Dad. But uh, can I see you for just a moment? Okay, Dad. I hope you've not forgotten that tomorrow is a day day. I know that. Good. That's my boy. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Huh? Thanks. We'll be back by 7 a.m. tomorrow. Ah, oh, fine, fine. It's okay. So, have a nice time, everybody. Yeah. Driven at net breaking speed. Hey! We have only one survivor. One of them survived. Who, 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 who is the doctor? Who is that? Tunde Johnson. Ah! Tunde. You mean Tunde, my son, is alive? Yes, but he is in a very bad shape. Hey! Bad shape? He's in coma. Hmm. We are still battling to save his life. Ah! Hey! He is in the intensive care unit. I see. Uh, doctor, uh, can, can I see him now? Can I see him? No, you may not. Doctor. Doctor. I've just been told that he's in the intensive care unit.
<laughs> My lord, this is the accused person. This young man is a wretched sinner. He has violated your laws. The law says the witches of sin is death. And the soul that sinner must die and come with me in hell. Is that not so, my lord? Oh, please forgive me. I know I am a wretched sinner. Please forgive me. Have mercy. Please forgive me. Give me just one more opportunity, please. <laughs> no more opportunities. You can only leave at once. You had your chance, or you blew it. You live your life in pleasure. You were a drunkard, a womanizer, a fornicator, a lover of pleasure. Hell is your eternal home. Isn't it, my lord? Father, please forgive him. Have mercy on him for the sake of my blood. Sunday, you serve the father. If you are given one more opportunity to leave again, please, I promise. I promise I will serve you. I will serve you all of my days. Please, just let me leave. Please, please. Father, look down. See the saint pleading for him. Have mercy on you. But you must promise to serve me with the whole of your life. I promise, Father, I promise. I promise to live for you to serve you. Just let me live. Just let me live, Lord. No. Mercy. No. Mercy. You are asking for what I never got. Mercy. Judgment. Judgment. Mercy. No. Mercy, Lord. No. Mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. 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 We prayed like everyone should fall. Ah, your first word you kept saying was mercy. And you kept on saying it. What really happened? I saw him. He was the way. He pleaded for me. He did not let that wicked man take me away and punish me here. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's alright. It's great. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Today, would you like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. 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 Now say this prayer after me. See my Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Ah! 
Sarah. You have not succeeded in turning your brother into a religious fanatic. Huh? Mom, it's not a religion. It's a way Do of you life. Shoot up? What has come over you? Uh, you think you can force the whole family to change to your own taste? Ah, Sarah, you lie. You will not succeed. Are you, today? You better get back to your senses. If your father finds out you have joined the fanatics, you have a lot to lose. And today, <laughs> you know your father. Mom, I've passed from death to life. I'm now a new creature, Mom. All things are fine. Hear me, please. Please, today. Mom, give your life to Jesus. When you do, you'll be able to influence Dad. Mom, all the worlds, influence, and connections are all temporal. Mom, what shall it profit a man? If he gains the old world and loses his soul. I have enough of this rubbish. You have enjoyed the influence of your father's wealth and connection. Something just came over you. And it's not a devil's idea. Listen, both of you, and listen good. Don't fight a battle you are not equipped to fight. Mom, we love you. Jesus loves you. Come to Jesus. He died for you. Me? Be a fanatic? Looking miserable? Eh? Spending my entire life just going to church? God forbid. Over my dead body. Mom, please have a change of taste. Jesus tastes better. Have a change of taste, Mom. You too. You better wake up from this fantasy and face reality. Life tastes better than all these religious stuff. Mom. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy on our mom and dad in the name of Jesus. Amen. Save them, oh Lord, you are able to deliver. Nothing is Yes, Dad. I've been observing you lately. I mean, you stay all night praying in your room. At any rate, um, that is not an issue for now. <clears throat> Son. Yes, Dad. Now that you have been able to survive that accident, I want to believe that you should now be fit for the G connection initiation. You see, we had to suspend it due to that accident. Uh, but I just want to remind you that it's going to come up on Saturday. No, Dad. That is not possible anymore. No. I'm alive today because of my Lord Jesus Christ. I saw him. He saved me and had mercy on me. Dad, I was the only survivor. Why me, a wretched sinner? Dad, I've promised that I'll serve him all of my days and him alone. Dad, I am sorry. Do you stop that nonsense? Stop that nonsense. Now listen to me, son. You are what you are today because of my investments into your life. Dad, I am grateful. No, you are not. You are not. You are just a stupid ingrate. Huh? Do you know how much I've invested into the G connections? Do you? My son, it is immeasurable. Eh? Look, you just have to continue. But Dad, you know I am not supposed to be alive. You know. Well, we, we thank God for that. We thank God for that. And I want you to know that God spared your life in order for you to join us. No, Dad. 
What I saw frightened me. I was meant to die and rot in hell. For three days I was in coma. I saw Jesus. He had mercy on me and gave me my life back. Dad, have a change of taste. Jesus tastes better. I have tasted life without Jesus. It's a bitter kind of life, Dad. Dad, you need to have a change of taste. Look, son, I have also tasted Christianity. Huh? You see, that does not stop you from joining us. It doesn't. Now listen to me. You know, I am the patron of Glory Society in our church. Huh? Do you know, remember that I bought them just of recent a church organ? Huh? Now listen, son. I'm also the grand patron of the Youth Society. Just last week, I bought them an 18-seater bus, fully air conditioned, son. We all members of the G Connection are Christians. We meet in the church. Tunde, look, we're talking about influence here. Wake up, have a taste. No, Dad. I can't join you. If I join you people, I would die and go to hell. And there will be no second chance. No, Dad, I can't join you people. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Son? Yes, Dad. Just look at me. I'm giving you just three days. Three days within which to comply. Son? Yes, Dad. If after three days you fail to comply with my instructions, be prepared to face the consequences. Dad! Dad! Please listen to me, Dad! Our friend Johnson, a respectable member of this local fraternity, you violated the noble and sacred rule governing this fraternity. Out of your carelessness, you allow your children to cross you on the other side. Your son, that's supposed to be initiated as a condition for your continuous membership and promotion refused to join us. You also allow your daughter to turn down the hover of a fraternity brother, Chief Benson. I lost my only daughter, Gigi. Due to your son's carelessness, I would like to remind you that you don't play games with the master. If by seven days' time all these are not revived, be prepared to face devastating consequences of betraying this fraternity. Remember your holds on the day of initiation. Brotherhood first. Remember, no one messes up with the G connection. Galashi! Power, dignity, control! Good morning. This letter is meant for you. Thank you. Uh. D. 
Dear Mr. Tunde Johnson, I am directed by the chairman of this conglomerate, Chief Alfred Johnson, that you hereby cease to be the CEO of this company. All your benefits attached to the position are hereby revoked. Please hand over all the company documents in your possession to the appropriate authorities. Good day. I'm Mr. Nduka, and this is Mr. Ozagi. We have orders to ensure you vacate this premises immediately. Please rise up honorably. Is no more yours. What's wrong with you guys? Give me the key. Give me the key. You guys will pay for this. for his things. Sarah! So dead! <laughs> please don't endanger your life! Ah! Please! Daddy, we have chosen to take this bad! And we are not ready to look back! I say, Daddy, I want yeah. to promise you that one day you will come and beg for to Jesus! You cry and beg for Jesus! I! Yes, Chief Johnson! I! Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Ah, congratulations. Congratulations. Ah, you have all impressed me. And uh, you, your qualifications are appropriate. They are just appropriate. Thank you, sir. 
and you all possess the kind of experience that we need in this company. Yes, I believe we shall all be great assets to our company. Once again, congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah. You all can resume by Monday. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yes. Excuse me. Hello? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, all right, sir. Uh, Mr. Today Johnson? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, we shall get in touch with you when we need your services. I thought you just said Oh, that... forget what I said. Uh, I'm sorry. You see, I'm a man under authority. Pardon. Good morning. Good morning. Uh -uh. Good morning. What's wrong with you, man? How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, what's going on? Fine. You're looking good. As usual, man. You know how yeah. you do. Yeah. So what's been happening? I'm fine. Fine. Just searching for a job. Look at you. I mean, you want to take on the G connection? It's not possible, man. You know that. Those guys are hard. You're risking your life. Hamlet, you don't understand, do you? Ah, man. You may have everything working for you right now. Of course I do. But I promise you it won't last. I've passed from death to life. And now I appreciate life much better. Ambrose, a man's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he has. And what shall he profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Alright, I know about all these things, but these guys are too hard to take. But the thing is, you and I have walked on these streets with our shoulders high. I mean, we, we, we're feared and respected. Why? Because our parents have weighty connections. For real, man. Be real about it. You know, when you leave these people, if you refuse to join them, you continue meeting brick walls wherever you go. Oh well, how's uh, my sister Sarah? Sarah's going to be getting married very soon. <laughs> married? Uh, definitely, you know your sister is mine. And she would always come back. <laughs> you know that. When you wake up from your fantasy, you meet with the realities of life, Ambrose. Don't forget, Ambrose, Jesus is the only way. Oh, oh God, preacher. Sorry, I'm just going to that junction and don't worry, I'll, I'll trek, don't worry. No, no, no hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, I'll just take you there. I'm almost there, don't worry, I just stopped you. Look, no, 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 look, tune in. I promise, wait. wait. What is this? Oh my god. Put it 
this to you. Before you leave her alone, I will pack all my things and go back to Potako where I came from. I thought I want peace. But see, I have to go back. I will have to go back to Potako. I will see, have to go back to Potako. Auntie, come, come, come. It will soon be over. Eh? What if they have killed me? You will not die in Jesus' name. God will, will rest, you God will restore you and give you a new home. Hmm. Eh? Relax, relax. Who is that? Can someone tell me what is happening here? Why is this place so disorganized? Why is this place so disorganized like this? This is what is happening. Some men came in here, tied her up, beat her, and dropped this paper. This is my dad's people. The G connection. Please excuse me. And where do you think you're going? I am ready to confront my dad. I'm going to face him. And please, please, don't tell me that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Let's face these people. Let them know that right from the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God has suffered violence. And they violently get it by Yes. <laughs> Wake up, Sarah. This is a sensitive case, and it requires wisdom. Scripture says, wisdom is the principal thing. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Which understanding do we have to get again? What understanding do we need here again? We already know where this battle is coming from. Then let's face it. Not with this method, my dear. Then I will face it alone. Please excuse me. If you take a step further, that is the end of this relationship. And I mean it. Sarah, I am facing all these challenges because of you. I know you, Sarah. And we need to be very careful. Because these people are dangerous. They are ready to eliminate anyone that crosses their path. What? This is getting interesting, Sarah. <laughs> when the battle gets hotter, victory is getting closer. When the enemy shall come against you like a mighty flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise the standard against him. It's all right, Sarah. It's all right. It's all right. Let us pray. Let's pray. Lord in Jesus' name. You see, today, the scripture says that all that shall live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. You see, all what we are passing through is like having fellowship with the sufferings of Christ. Thank you, Pastor. I now feel better. The old pastor are beginning to understand that walking with the devil looks sweet at the beginning, mm. but the consequences are always devastating. Mm. Not too long ago, I was in riches and affluence. I was cruising around town with my shoulders high, thinking that was all. But now I know what it means to have a change of taste. Mm. You mm. see, today, the battle belongs unto the Lord. The scripture says that evil shall bow before the good and the wicked at the gate of the righteous. So we shall continue to pray. We shall not be discouraged. We shall hold on to this Jesus. Come and let me drop you off. Please, 
Jennifer. 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 Listen, 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 Basin. Don't call anybody, right? I'm coming there now to take him to the hospital. Right? My chest. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody help me. Oh, God. Everything is in order. <laughs> the woman is gone. She's cooling off in the mug. Johnson is partially paralyzed. But Chief, there's a new development. The children have been informed that he's here. Yes. The receptionist told me. Now, proceed to the last stage. Eliminating first before they get there. You got a chief? Galoshi! Power! Dignity! Control! Hospital. The atmosphere is negative. There are some forces ganging up. Look, today we need to get Chief out of this hospital fast. Look, let's go and make that. Okay, Pastor. No! Ganashi! Things are working against us. No, 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 no. Let's come together. I'll finish this chapter. The apex of this battle. Chief Johnson must not die. Ah. We have to pray that Lord will have mercy on him. 
Let us be to call upon God for his mercy. Ah. Chief Johnson must not die. Amen. I perceive the Lord wants to use him. Oh. Hey. So we're going to pray that Lord will have mercy on him. And say this so. Every cloud and get an empty cloud. Let it go back to slander. In the name of the Lord to slander. Let it go back 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 to slander. Let it he has made a covenant yes. with us. Yes. He has offended and betrayed us. Yes. He still believes in the power yes. of the great one. Oh, yes. yes. Look, listen. Yes. Johnson, yes. you are going now. Yes. yes. You are going now. Yes. You are going now. You are going now. You are going now. You are Let's strike, strike, strike him! Strike him! Let's strike him! Johnson! Bye bye! Deserve to die and go to hell as a sinner. Mm. Because you teamed up with the forces of darkness to wage war against the Lord and his elect. Mm. If not for the sake of your children who has known Jesus, the Lord saw that and had mercy on you. Mm. Mm. Your wife wasn't that lucky. She was the scapegoat no. used to pay for the covenant you signed with the devil. No. The devil wasted that woman because of your lust for wealth, fame, and prestige. Chief, you have come to the end of the road. You are only enjoying a temporary peace which can only be sustained to Jesus. Mm. Tasting of the devil's bitter pills sends a negative signal to your spiritual system. Chief, have a change of taste. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Pastor, where else can I go? So I was deceived by influence, by power. Mm. Mm. Oh. I sat a dying at the table with the devil. Oh, Pastor. I never knew that the food of the devil would make taste sweet at the beginning. 
But he becomes Peter at the head. Help me, Pastor. Chief, would you like to give your life to Jesus? Ah, Pastor, I am ready. I am ready, Pastor. Say these prayers after me. My Lord Jesus. My Lord Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. I ask you to come into my heart. I ask you to come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And my Savior. And my Savior.